this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to integrate WP Courseware with WP Member Membership Plugin. Okay, let's begin. The first thing we want to do is we want to go and we want to create our membership level. So let's go down to WP Member on the left hand side and select Subscription Settings. You'll notice here that we have a list of about five membership levels and you can actually create custom membership levels or we can use one of the pre-configured subscription levels that comes with WP Member. For purposes of this training video we're just going to go ahead and use what we currently have. So the very next step would be to go over to your left hand side under training courses and select training courses. The next step would actually involve just creating your very first training course and as you can see I've already created a training course just to save a little bit of time. So the next step would be to go into our training course by selecting it. And what we want to do is scroll down to user access. And you'll notice that we have two options here, automatic and manual. Automatic will actually automatically enroll students into this particular course. So when somebody signs up with WP member at a particular subscription level that you've created, it will automatically enroll a student in this particular course. Now if you are planning to do multiple courses on this website, we highly recommend that you would select manual. And what you would do with the manual process is once somebody subscribes into WP member, you would find out which subscription level they subscribe to, then you would match that up with its associated course. And you are able to actually assign a course manually to a student and we'll go over that a little bit later in this video tutorial. And the other option is to actually assign multiple courses to a particular student. However, for purposes of this video, we're going to go ahead and select automatic and we're going to select save all details. Okay, the next step in the process would be to add modules. However, if we go back over to training courses on the left hand side here, you'll notice that I already have a module. So in this particular step, you would actually create your modules and lay out your course uh, as you normally would. Then the very next step would be to create units. We actually want to put some content in here. So what we're going to do is click on course units and then we're going to select course units. And again, you're going to notice I've already added a couple of units in here, but it's very important that we go inside these units and take a look at the configuration for WP member. So once you create your content, you're going to want to go over here to the right hand side and you're going to want to select one of the le membership levels that you have already configured. It could be that you created a custom one or if not, you may be using one of the pre-configured membership levels that is available with WP member when you install it. So for purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and select the free membership level and I'm just going to go ahead and select update and we're going to want to do that same procedure to the other unit. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in here really quick and select free then update. Okay, so now the next step would be to create a course outline. So in order to do so we're going to go ahead up to our pages area. Under pages select all pages and you'll notice that I went ahead and took the liberty of creating a course outline. However, we want to make sure that it is only assigned to the particular membership level that you intend it to be assigned to. So in order to do so, we're going to select edit right under the page title. And you'll notice that I already have it assigned to the free membership level. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and register via WP member. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap browsers and we're going to go ahead and register with the registration form and I'm going to select the free membership level and I'm going to select register. Now it's going to send me an email with my password so I'm going to go retrieve that and I'll be right back. Okay now I've got my username and password handy. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and you'll notice I have my course outline and you'll notice that we've got two units available and I'm going to go ahead and select the one unit and we're going to scroll down and obviously there would be some content here maybe a video tutorial or maybe a downloadable PDF and once the content is consumed by the student obviously they would select mark as completed 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to our admin side. And we're going to go on the left hand side under users and select all users. And you'll notice that it's already assigned the course to me and it's already shown that I've completed it 50%. If you remember there was only two units and so I've completed one of the two. Now in the case that you had multiple courses and you had to assign this manually it's very simple to do. After you figure out and determine which particular course you are going to assign this particular student and obviously that's going to be dependent upon which membership level that they subscribed into what you would do is on the right hand side click update course access permissions and on this screen you'll notice that you'll have your course title listed and in the case that you had more than one course you would have multiple courses list listed here you would simply select the checkbox next to the course that you would like to assign to the student and once you do so you just select save changes and that concludes this video tutorial on how to integrate WP Courseware with WP Member membership plugin. Thank you for watching.